Layman is in here. Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. Resemblance, right? He's my grandfather. Oh, moly moly! That thing is powerful. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are working on the pond in the fish room. It is part two, but we have a sponsor, and this sponsor actually helped make this video possible. So before we get the video started, here we go. Oh, hey there. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped.com. The premier men's grooming brand offering the best tools and solutions for men's hygiene across the globe. Yes, you heard that right. Manscaped is officially taking over the world. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation electric body trimmer. And that's the new Lawnmower 4.0. Globally, which means international shipping to the United States, Canada, Australia, the UK, all of Europe, Singapore, and even South Africa. You want to get the ultimate Manscaped experience? Purchase the new Manscaped Performance Package 4.0. No bundle. The perfect tools for your family jewels. <laughs> This lawnmower 4.0 right here is a waterproof cordless body trimmer. I can do this right in the shower. Waterproof! It has replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and built in LED light to help you trim with confidence. Inspired by the engineering team at NASA, Manscaped's team has redesigned the new lawnmower 4.0 to include a cool new wireless charging system. These indicator lights in the front now show you how much juice you have, so you're always ready to go. There's also a new travel lock feature, so you can ensure that when you take flight, your trimmer travels safely with you. Included in their launch plan, Manscaped hooked me up with the Crop Preserver, a ball deodorant, and the Crop Reviver. This is a ball toner spray. Manscaped is so much more than a ball trimmer company. The new Performance Package 4.0 bundle now includes their new Weed Wacka, the nose and ear hair trimmer. Oh, feel like a new man. When you opt for the Performance Package 4.0 kit, you get the biggest bang for your buck. You can enroll in their peak hygiene plan and get ongoing replenishments of your favorite products flown straight to your doorstep hassle free. And for a limited time, you can not only get one, but two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag right here or the anti-chafing boxer briefs right here. By the way, the most comfortable box I've ever owned. Go to manscaped.com backslash Paul and get 20% off plus free international shipping using the link right down below. And don't forget the two free gifts that come along with that. Join the two million men worldwide who trusted Manscaped and get your rocket ready to just take off. Your balls and body, well thank you. Underlayment is in here, which is the cushion that's gonna go under the liner. It'll all make sense in a little bit. By the way, we actually got blue liner instead of black. I didn't want black because I feel like it'd be so dark in there. So we got, look at that, blue liner, very nice and thick stuff. And then we got everything we need to get the liner strapped down onto the wood at Home Depot. That is the cheapest trip to Home Depot I've ever had in my life. Floor is all concrete. If you guys did not watch the video of us building this 1,000 gallon aquarium, go back, watch that video, then come back to this one. If you did watch that though, you're caught up. This is going to be absolutely amazing. We're gonna see what a pond's really gonna look like today. By the end of today, it's gonna be done. So, the plan is underlayment, liner, drill it all into the side of this right here, and we'll be strapped on. Now let's just hope your boy PC over here bought the right size. Knowing me, I bought the completely wrong size. Size. No, I did do my measurements though, I won't lie. This is plenty, 100%. Yeah! By the way, I already checked for nails and stuff underneath. It's just a bunch of old concrete. Gosh, there's a lot more than we need. Let me put it that way. You know, growing up, my dad always told me, it's always good to have more than less. No, he never said that to me, actually. You know, my dad did tell me that one day, and it always stuck in my brain. There's an ass for every seat. Remember that one, fellas. There's a lot of this, but it's actually like just enough. It looks like a lot, but it's just enough. Now if you ask yourself, why are you putting this? What is this for? I didn't want to lay the liner straight onto, similar to what you do if you dug a pond outside. You're not gonna just lay the liner right on the dirt. You actually have to put some sort of cushion under the liner so that anything, like for instance, if it's outside, roots won't grow into the liner. They actually hit this, which is underlayment, prior to hitting the liner. So in this case, I'm just protecting it from being pierced by any of those sharp cornered of concretes that were down there. And that is pretty much it. We have a lot to cut though. 
Yeah. I'm be careful when I cut, but underlayment's not as important as cutting the liner. I'm just gonna trim it up, get rid of a lot of this extra stuff. The underlayment's in though, this one's gonna protect it from any sharp items on the ground. Wanna throw me on over that blue liner, buddy? Yep. Yeah. That's heavy. Wow, that's heavy. Notice how that time the floor did not move at all. Straight concrete ground. Look at that. Oh yeah. I think I bought a lot more than I needed as well there. Each screw has a little washer so that it keeps it down. Oh. We're gonna work on this side of the pond now. And you'll see at the bottoms we gave it a little bit of slack because when the water does fill up it's obviously gonna pull as tight as it can. This is going to look really good. We're doing both the sides here. And then we're gonna work on the side, the corners, which is where all the just like the leftover liner is. I bought a little bit too big. I did the measurements, just a wee bit wrong. But hey, at least I didn't do them not enough. I got more than we needed, which is never a problem. Imagine I drop the screw and then I kick it <laughs> into the liner. Ooh, that would stink, dude. Now we work on the corners, which is gonna require a lot of this trimming. Look at how we're looking. Looking pretty solid. The sides are being a pain, but all this. Do you want to put a screw here so we can just, just can like be held up and then we can just mess with the sides? That's fine. Yeah. Look like a baseball player, man. Who do you play for? Uh, Polk Farrell Brand? <laughs> no, they cut. These are chicken cutters, so I almost just chopped the top of my finger off. We can't show that on YouTube because, you know, we'll get demonetized, but good old napkin and uh, right on the tip there, some electrical tape. It's good enough band-aid for now. That'll do the trick. Back to work. So satisfying, dude. Look at this. You're running all the way. Swindar, my baby! Woohoo! We have this last side to do over here, and we're good to go. Check this out. We are already putting a hose in now. I'm not gonna tell you what we're doing. You could say, well, you're putting a hose in, so it's obviously gonna be fresh water, but we could add salt to it. Good. But we could just leave it fresh also. So, me putting the water in, you're not gonna know what we're gonna do with this pond just yet. No matter what, you know, they're not gonna know. They will soon. They will at the end of this video, but I don't know if we're doing fresh or salt water. You're gonna have to find out. It's gonna start filling up, boys and girls. Thank God we did that concrete bottom. I tell you what, it would've burst it out the bottom. Oh, moly, moly, that thing is powerful. This is gonna take a long time. I got the GoPro though. We're gonna roll the time lapse. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hose came out of the pond and the fish room filled up about two inches deep in water. So we shot backed it all out and here's the next day. Hector, you like being on camera? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Lives for it. <laughs> hey, Hector. What's up, man? What's up? Looks like a real pond, huh? Look at that. That looks good. I need a piece of two by four. Hector, you are crazy, bro. Standing on a two by four. What happens that cracks? You're going for a swim. Don't move the two by four, man. <laughs> Imagine, pop, kick, the, kick the two by four down. Slide it out. For 10,000 likes, I will do it right now. <laughs> Hector, stay there. We gotta wait till everyone likes the video. No, we don't wanna see Hector fall in the water, do we? Man, give me some towels. I can jump in the water. So we're going to paint this the color of the wall and then stain all of this. So stain all this and paint this the color of the wall. On the same page, cool. Like a pharaoh's 
we have a problem. Hector's gone, it's the end of the day, but pitch black out here and I locked myself out of the fish room. Thankfully, I thought of something. I said, you know what? While I don't have a key, let me leave one of the windows unlocked in case this happens, because I'm stupid. It happened, so. Oh, I thought it was locked. I was like, all right, maybe not. <laughs> I kept this unlocked. So oh. could have just pushed me right the bottom. Ah! My knees. <laughs> I'm gonna unlock, all right? Woo! All right, well, let me give you an update on the pond. This is what we're looking like. Everything is done. These are a bunch of wave makers. Um, but everything is done other than the painting and then the staining of the top. Other than that, we're done. The filter, oh, it's, it's not in there right now. But I got a filter. I have everything. We're ready to get this thing going. What do you think, Chad? Dude. I can't wait to see what goes in this. It's gonna be awesome. Don't let Paul paint. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Great start, guys. Great start, we Morty. The... We're painting tonight with the boys. We're just out here. It's like 1 a.m. Do we have any napkins? Because I just spilled no, a lot of paint. So. Oh my god. Chris is the expert painter behind the camera right now. What am I doing painting this thing, dude? It's you got a pond. professional painter behind me. It's your pond. He does this for a living. You know, they used to call me a. Uh, Puppy hair. Bob Ross here, teaching you how to paint a pond. I don't know who's Bob Ross. He's got puppy hair, he paints the mountains. All right guys, if you don't know who Bob Ross is, hop on your art game, come on now. Oh, he's right. Never heard of that name, ever. What Here's you know? Bob Ross for you. What do you think, I'm making stuff up? Paul, let me see. Bruh. Yeah? Good, resemblance, right? He's my grandfather. It looks good, bro, it looks good, that color. I think it's a little bit darker of a color than the wall, which is actually Wait, perfect. Wait, do you get the same color, though? No, I don't know, actually. I just tried to match it as best I could. Don't you think? I think it looks good. And then we're gonna do the top a different color than that. Don't you think? Oh, yep. What if we did the top, like, black? We're gonna paint this entire thing right here, just the front, and leave the top wood for tonight. But this is our project. This right here is going to look amazing! This black, I think. I think. I don't know. So dope, bro. That looks fire. Fuego. 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 That looks sick. Here we go. My buddy just dropped me off a super cool catfish, by the way, too. Beautiful tiger shovel nose. Gonna be bringing that to the farmhouse today. He's got a filter, aerator, everything on it. But check it. Check it, boys and girls. This is where we're gonna end off here. Now, this is a little bit darker than the wall, but I think it looks cooler. It stands out a little bit. You let me know what you think down below, comment. But I mean, fellas, we're gonna fill this water up a little bit more. The filter goes in there. We actually have, this handle is going to be on this so that I can easily pop it up and access the filter. It looks amazing. That's the pond right there. I want your opinion though, and that's why I left this with no paint. I was initially going to finish the whole thing today, but I left this with nothing. I'm thinking black. I'm thinking we do the color black, but I want Caferos, you guys' opinion, drop it down in the comments down below. What color do you think we should do? What color, comment down below right now, and then I'll kind of go off of all y'all's opinions. Let me know down in the comments below. But that is, uh, that's that. 1,000 gallon pond is fresh water. I hate to burst anyone's bubbles that wanted it to be salt water, but there's a reason why I didn't do salt water. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. If you want salt water, don't get butthurt yet. I promise you, you're gonna be like, ah, okay. One reason why I have the fresh water is because if I did salt, I would have had to open up this wall, like drill holes through, and build a concrete slab here, which the pond is right in there. Run plumbing out, a whole filtration system here, and pretty much a whole nother house right here with a roof and everything on it. In order to be like, you know, hurricane proof and yada yada yada, it would have cost me thousands of dollars to do just the filtration for the salt water, let alone maintain a pond that's a thousand gallon salt water. And I'll just be quite honest, I wasn't trying to do all that. We just made this fresh water. A lot less work on your boy PC and other things to come are gonna be salt water. I answered the question. Please, if you have not done so already, subscribe down below. It's completely free. Just click the subscribe button, turn the bell on, and smash the darn like button. Now I know I've asked you guys to comment a lot on this video already, but let me know what kind of fish you'd like to see 
fresh water in this pond right here. We're gonna be doing substrate rocks, all that in upcoming videos, so make sure you don't miss out and subscribe, like I said. Love you so much, I could talk all day. See you in the next one. Peace! Captain, I can't hear you. <laughs>